greetings, greetings, royals. Okay, we are live. Greetings to you all, wonderful God's generals. How are we today? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to the royals. Happy Sunday to the generals. Happy Sunday to God's special uh, create, uh, creatures, to God's special species, to God's special uh generals how are we doing today we are on another beautiful insightful sunday i hope we are all winning i hope we had a glorious um week i hope we are having a beautiful uh sunday Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to others. Some of us, we are break from church. For others, are yet to prepare to go to church. And I'm not sure about others, or they are like they are already from there as well, or they are yet to prepare and get ready okay i hope you have been doing well this week a glorious week indeed a glorious week indeed so i'm so super excited to be here again once again live alive and well so yes like we always do you know we take some time without wasting time i would like us to right away take some time and thank god appreciate him honor him you know we always do this and it's not a like a once off time thing it's not like when we feel like doing it or you know because we talk about it you know i'm talking about gratitude we do it every time right so there's something that I shared during an inspiration for you recap on gratitude and that was gratitude is worship and you know it is a form of expressing yourself to your heavenly father with your gratitude with a grateful heart with a pure clean heart appreciating God thanking him for how great he is in your life you know worshiping him for the blessings that he has blessing you blessed you with and you know sometimes you don't honestly need a reason to be grateful to god but we have to do it at all times you know you just have to show gratitude you appreciate him you honor him and i would like to ask you a question this morning this afternoon this evening wherever you are what are you grateful to God for? Did you take some time to show gratitude? Did you say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for life. I thank you for divine health. I thank you. Did you take some time to just lavishly show gratitude to your heavenly father? Oh, your heart is full of questions. It's full of, you know, so much uh, doubt, so much uh, uh, negatives. You are looking at the things that you don't have yet. Or maybe you are that kind of person who is like, you know what, God, what's the reason for me saying uh, of saying thank you when you haven't even given me what I asked for? Whatever that you ask God for is connected to your gratitude as well. So let us take some time and be grateful to God. I would like you to, you know, just thank him, appreciate him, honor him, you know, with a grateful heart. Just go ahead and speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Appreciate your God. Thank Him. Love Him. Honor Him with a grateful heart. Let us go ahead and pray. Go ahead and speak in tongues. 
Lika basi ke debus ke masha talaban. Roka basa talabasuka brade debus ke praktis ka mashi kalaban. Go ahead and say, Lord, I thank you. Go ahead and say, Father, I thank you. I thank you for blessings. I thank you for loving me so dearly. Thank you for teaching me your word for the precious Holy Spirit that dwells in me. I thank you, Father, for the wisdom that is at work in me. I thank you, Father, for understanding of your word. I thank you, Father, for precious Holy Spirit who is protecting me, who is available for me 24 7 lord i thank you i thank you for your blessings that are in my life i thank you oh god yes thank you for divine health thank you for the knowledge thank you oh god for my family thank you father yes thank you that i let nothing Thank you, Father, for that when I'm in need, you provide. Lord, I thank you. I am grateful to you, O God. I worship you with my grateful heart. Lord, I thank you. I give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. I love gratitude. I hope you also do love gratitude, Royals. I hope you do love being grateful to God. It's so powerful. Okay. It's so powerful. So let us always be grateful to God. Not once, not times. Always be grateful to your heavenly father. It's very important. You know, the more you show gratitude, the more doors are open for you. So why would you not say, Lord, I am grateful? Okay. So, um, you know, I took some time to, I, I've been, uh, like I always tell you that I... Each time I listen to the messages um, that I actually share, led by the Holy Spirit, you know, even me myself, I'll be like, what? They minister to me in a very special way and they touch me a lot and at the same time challenge me that, wow. If these words can come out of this mouth, you know, that means there's so much that God can do through us, through me, through you. And, you know, that means we need to really have time to fellowship with the Father more, have time to get to know Him more, you know, have a conversation with Him, communicate with Him, love Him, and in that way you um you can grow you know you can grow greater than far i mean way much greater than where you are now you know the message for last week be strong and courage is really uh, ministered to me i listened to the message over and over again and i was like wow this is so super powerful that as ghost children we mustn't be I mean, we must not allow circumstances of life, challenges of life, drain us, shrink us to an extent whereby we are not able to do that which God wants us to do. So we have to be strong. We have to be courageous. And the message really ministered to me. I was so blessed by the message. Please kindly go to our YouTube channel, Fountain Insights TV, and listen to those messages. You will be blessed. Glory to God. Okay. So today's message is create it the title of the message today is created created and you know when the holy spirit dropped this message in my spirit i actually had different uh, uh message entirely like it was actually that one honestly speaking i'll be very honest with you it was actually coming from my head like i was thinking okay god maybe we share this and then the holy spirit was like mm -mm, you get out of the way right i don't need you here i need what you have you know i need the holy spirit to do this and i was like okay what is the message i mean god like okay because we've been sharing this sharing this so what am i sharing and i actually thought maybe we're going to be sharing more on be strong and courageous i thought maybe we're going to be sharing something entirely like totally different and the holy spirit just dropped the title in my spirit and like created and i was like ah created 
What am I creating? And then the Holy Spirit said, create it. That is the title of the message. And then I was like, okay, what are we creating? And the Holy Spirit kept on saying, you know, it's time for you to create you know i know you have been creating i know you have been putting things in place you know with your mouth preparing yourself positive and so on but the holy spirit said you need to create there are bigger things that god wants us to start creating now because what is coming ahead of us is greater and bigger but it cannot just come when we are quiet when we are not doing anything about it we have to create and i said okay Holy Spirit, I think you would definitely need to do your part here because as for me, I don't even know what I'm creating, you know. And then the Holy Spirit gave me some scriptures. You know, I always have a conversation with the Holy Spirit. Like I talk to the Holy Spirit a lot, you know. When I don't understand something, I also argue sometimes. Can you imagine that? trying to argue with the Holy Spirit, trying to be stubborn to the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will gently just say, wait, look at this. This is what I'm saying. And I'm like, oh yeah, you know. And thank God I'm very quick to also hear what the Spirit of God is saying. So uh, we have got some scriptures that the Holy Spirit, you know, guided me through and said, we need to go through these scriptures, which I'm going to take um, right now. But I want us to first understand what is the meaning of create when you say you are creating what are you doing what is to create and what are we creating to create is to bring something into existence you know when you say you are creating something you are bringing something into existence like the other meaning would be like generate produce make fabricate build or form so those are actually different meanings of create other you know meanings but the main one is to bring something into existence that is the main uh one that i want to focus on to produce to make something bring something into existence and then the Holy Spirit ministered to me said, you have the power, you have the ability to bring something into existence. And I would like us to look at um, Genesis chapter 1. From the, uh, Let's look at the, 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 uh, uh, the creation, actually. When God um, was creating... I want us to understand something. When God was creating, what did he do? How did God create? And then he is telling us that we must create. And then he says, create it. And then in my mind, I was like, God, create what? And then I remembered that there are so many times I will talk about, you know, some things, maybe big thing, or it could be something that's a, a very global, uh, I mean, uh, uh, an idea that's very global or something. And the Holy Spirit said, go ahead and create it. And I was like, oh, okay, create it. And then said, yes, create it. You want it, right? Create it. So, and then I'm like, okay, God, how do I create it? He said, you're going to create it with your mouth. And you're going to create it from your mind. And I want us to look at this. Let's look at the beginning. Let's look at Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, God created. These are like royals, generals. These are scriptures that we know every day. These are scriptures that we can sing. These are scriptures that we can, even when we're sleeping, you know, from when you're in your deep sleep, you, they just wake you up and say, Genesis 1, what is the what is the scripture saying? You'll be like, eh, in the beginning, God um, created the heavens. Already, these are the scriptures that we know. But in these scriptures, there's so much that we overlook. There's so much that we don't pay attention into. There's so much that we do not do in the scriptures that we know. In the scriptures that we talk about every 
today, the scriptures that we 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 meditate on, the scriptures that we you know confess. And then it says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He created the heavens and the earth. This heaven that we see, I mean, these heavens that we talk about, that we imagine, that we see, we have heard, we have seen, according to the Bible, according to the scriptures, and the earth, the earth that we are in, the earth that we we talk about, we, we see things in, and then now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God ho was hovering over the waters. And God said, so when God saw that there was dark everywhere, he said, you know what? The only thing that I can do here is to create something out of this. And he created. So, and God said, let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good and he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness he called night. And there was evening and there was morning, the day, the first day. So what did he do? He created Okay, you saw that there's darkness. And then said, okay, what do I want? I want to separate the day and the night. And then he said, okay, let that be light. He uttered the words and said, this, let that be light. He said, light be. And then there was light. And then there was darkness. So he separated the light and the day uh, and the night. And then he said, call the light day and he called the night darkness. Then there was the first day. That was the first day he said day and night. He actually spoke. He saw something. He saw what was, you know, what was happening around. But that was not in the form that he wanted. So he had to create what he wanted to see. He wanted to see day and night. He had to create, he had to speak words. So he opened his mouth and, let, and said, let that be. He used the skills that he had. He used the skills that he has inside of him and he created. Because now, and then he says, and God said, let there be a vault between the waters to separate water from water. Right. So God made the vault and separated the water under the vault from the water above it. And it was so. God called the vault sky and there was evening and there was morning the second day so throughout all the days he was created he was creating what he wanted to see and he created it he saw it then god said let the lead produce vegetation he then he did what he created he produced he made he fabricated the vegetation the shade bearing plants and trees to the land that bear fruit with seed in it. So he had to create what he wanted to see. According to the various kinds, and it was so, the land produced vegetation, plants bearing seed according to their kinds, and trees bearing fruit with the seed in it according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning the third day. So throughout all those days, he was creating, arranging, putting things in place the way he wanted them. To be and you know before i even go further when you read you know as i observe something when i read chapter two and it talks about that by then there was no uh anybody to till the ground you know after he created everything there was no water uh, the water had not yet started um, like there was no rain yet so he caused the rain to come and to so that means as he was creating all these things he was creating them in his mind he was arranging them in his imagination he was putting things in place sitting down creating imagining putting things in place in his mind and then he said let there be glory to god and you know when we take other scriptures you will see that these things that he did here um everything that he was doing he also gave us the ability to create 
right and so god made two great lights listen to the and god said let there be light in the vault of the sky okay that was when he had created the light and it was so so god made two great lights the the greater light to govern the day and the lesser light to govern the night he also made the stars god set them in the vault of the sky to give light to them the, to govern the day and the night and to separate light from the darkness and God saw that it was good and there was evening and there was morning the fourth day so he created the moon he created the sun you know and God said let the water team with living creatures and let birds fly over so he was creating the creatures everything the way he wanted look at all the things that we have today in this world things that we see and we say wow this is beautiful and those that are even that we're even scared of like when you look at the 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 the, the crocodiles you look at all those things those are the things that were created by god the animals that were created by god the creatures that were created by god you know he created them the way he wanted and he said look this is so good and God said, let the, the let the land produce i'm reading 24 let the land produce living creatures according to the kinds that was 24 then 26 then god said let this is where i want us to look at then god said let us make men in our image in our likeness so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals and over all the creatures. So uh, that move along the ground. So God created mankind in his image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Okay, so we are created in the likeness of God. Where, if you look at yourself, you see God. So when you look at yourself, you don't say, you know what? Oh, my face is so ugly. I'm so ugly. I'm not beautiful. Oh, people say I'm too dark. Oh, people say I'm too light. Oh, people say this. Like when you are looking at yourself, you are seeing God's creation. When you're looking at you, you're seeing God in you. You see God because you are created in his own image. And then God blessed them and said to them, be fruitful and increase in number fill the earth and subdue it so he said we must be fruitful how are we going to be fruitful when you say you are fruitful it means you are a creator you can create glory to god he said and uh it said, then god said i give you every seed bearing plant on the face of the world earth and every tree that has fruit with seed in it they will be yours for food so now he was giving us authority over everything so everything that we admire, everything that we look up to, we see, he gave us the ability to create it. He gave us the power to create it. Glory to God. So here in the book of Genesis, I just wanted us to give a clear understanding on how God created. He spoke words. He used words. He said, let that be. And he saw it in his mind. He created what he wanted to see in the world. And then he's saying, create it. He's giving us a go ahead. He's giving us the ability. He's giving us a, a privilege to create. Because he said we, you are created in his, in his own image. So that means the power that he has to create anything that we want in our lives, we have it. The challenge could be that maybe we limit ourselves. The challenge could be that maybe we don't know the power that we have inside of us that we can use to create the life that we want, to create the things that we want, to create that which God wants us to have. And according to his will, not according to our own will, not according to our self-desires, not according to what we want that will satisfy us and make us feel good, but according to his will. And as we create, we create that which will benefit us and benefit others. And I always share this every time. Glory to God. So now I want us to look. So now I just wanted us to lay a foundation on God's creation. On how God created using his mouth. He said, let that be. The Bible is saying, he said, he said, he said. That means he spoke. So how are you going to create? You need to speak. Glory to God. And he has given us the uh, 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 an ability. He has given us the advantage. He has given us the power that we should create. We should use our own mouth to create. So imagine when you are ever saying bad things about yourself. When you are ever saying bad things about your life. How do you expect things to come to manifestation in your life? How do you expect things to come together in your life? When you yourself, you are using your mouth to destroy yourself. Because remember, God is saying we are created uh, like Him. 
We are like him. We are born as creators. Our mouths are meant to create. So we are the creators. Glory to God. So I want us to look at Psalms 82. Verse 6. Okay. Listen to this. This is God telling us. He has already told us. I said you are God's. And all of you are children of the Most High. I said you are God's. Like he, we, uh, remember he said that we are born, we are created in his own image. We are like him. And he is telling us, Psalm 82 verse 6, I said you are God's and all of you are children of the Most High. So you are the child of the Most High and you are God. What does a cat give birth to? It's not a kid that grows it to be a cat. So anything that God is, is who you are. The difference is that either you have the knowledge or you don't have the knowledge. So we need to know who are we in Christ. Who is God to us? And who are we to him? And who are we to the world? Who are we here now? And then he said, I said, you are God. He is telling us today that, listen, you are God. You are God. Yes, you can create like I did, I created for you to be where you are, right? You can create, you can create what you want. You can create that which you desire as long as it is according to his will. Glory to God. And I also want us to look at this because we are laying the foundation, <coughs> right? Uh, Colossians 1 verse 16 because oftentimes we we keep quiet we watch things get messed up we watch things get destroyed we watch things growing anyhow we watch things growing to be whatever they want to be whereas we are gods we have the ability we can make things we can create because remember to create is to bring something into existence which means god wants us to bring things into existence concerning our lives i said during the beginning of the month that god wants us to bring things to manifestation this is the time for us to live a life of there we go Oh, we're trying to set up the camera. Okay, there we go. We are back again in line. We had lost our connection there. Okay, so we are we, we continue. We we're on an Instagram. We still we just going to to continue. Okay, so where are we? So we're saying that we are like God. God wants us to create. Okay. So most of the times I was like I was sharing that most of the times we 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 just keep quiet and watch things get destroyed around us. We watch things get messed up, you know. We don't do anything. When you don't do anything about your life, when you don't talk, when you don't create, when you don't build, nothing will grow. If you don't plant, nothing will ever grow where you didn't plant. Okay. So Colossians 1 16 says, For by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible. Whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. Okay? So for for by him all things were created. By him all things were created. So by God all things were created. And he's saying that we are like him. Glory to God. We are like him. We are creators. We can create. All things were created through him. So how are we going to create? So let's look at... Um, 
okay i just want us to quick we are still laying the foundation um ephesians 2 verse 10 okay so let's look at this we are talking about to create it right and you may ask okay am i a creator i'm not god god said i showed you he said he are god so we are like him we are created in his own image we are creators we can create and then ephesians 2 10 he's saying for we are his workmanship created in christ jesus for good works which god prepared beforehand that we should walk in them we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them we are his workmanship glory to God created in Christ Jesus for good works so we are the creators we are the ones to create for good works we are created for good works and we create glory to God so I just wanted us to have um, like a, a, a some insights on this about creating because sometimes we may say okay we just talk about creating we are like father we create and how are we going to create listen to this um let's look at ezekiel we are getting there now ezekiel 28 verse 12 to 13 Now, son of man, take up a lament concerning the king of Tyre and say to him, This is what the sovereign Lord said. You were the seal of perfection, full of wisdom, and perfect in beauty. You were in Eden, the garden of Eden, every precious stone adorned you, colonian, scroll, emerald, topaz, lapsed, lazul, and bureau. Your settings and mountings were made of gold on the day you were created, they were prepared. Okay, son of man, did I get it right? Um, okay, I'll, let me see. I think I need to come back to this one. Son of man, take up a lament concerning the king of Tyre and say to him, this is what Sovian Lord said, you were the seal of perfection. Okay, so as the seal of perfection, we bring out perfection. Look at this. I will come back to that one. I want us to go to Ezekiel 37. This is one of the main scriptures that is part of what we are sharing today. And then from there, we will look at all these other scriptures shortly. Now, Ezekiel, um, God said to Ezekiel, you, I want you to, to prophesy to the dry bones, you know. And when I looked at this whole situation, I realized that um, if no, if Ezekiel didn't listen to the voice of God, if Ezekiel didn't do what God had instructed him to do, these bones were not going to gather up to become a great army. So what happened? There's something that Ezekiel did. Ezekiel didn't keep quiet. Ezekiel didn't prophesy to the bones with the eyes or with the ears or with the nose or with the hands he spoke he opened his mouth the hand of the Lord came uh, I mean was on me and the, he brought me out by the spirit of the Lord and set me in the middle of the valley it was full of bones he led me back and forth among them and I saw a great many bones on the floor of the valley bones that were very dry he asked me son of man can these bones live now I said Savian Lord you alone know then he said to him prophesy to these bones and said to them dry bones hear the word of the Lord this is what the Savian Lord says to these bones I will make breathe enter you and you will come to life I will attach tendons to you and make flesh come upon you and cover you with skin i will put bread in you and you will come to life then you will know that i am the lord do you know ezekiel said ah 
God, no ways. Please don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. There's no such thing. These things are dead. Like they were long gone. They are dry. There's no life here. God, please don't play. Be honest. Be realistic here. Come with realistic things, you know. If you would have said that, that is, you are doubting God, you know. So God gave him a platform to create. God gave him a platform to create back the great army using his mouth. He said, listen, dude, this is what I want you to do now. You are going to prophesy to these dry bones. And what did Ezekiel do? He said, okay, you sovereign Lord know, as you say, I will do. So these bones were so scattered, dry, like all over, in such a way that there was no hope. There was no hope. This could be your life. In a situation whereby you are like, okay, where do I even start with this life that I was given by God? Where do I even start to create what I want with my life? In such a mess that I mean. When things are like this, where do I even begin? How do I create? Where do I have the power? Where do I have the ability to do this? But he said, remember in the beginning that he, you are created like him. You are created like you are you are you were created in his own image. You are like your heavenly father, he is your creator. So when he was telling Ezekiel, he already knew what he was talking about. He already knew that he gave Ezekiel the ability to do something, the ability to, to prophesy. To speak words. Then he said, prophesy to these bones and say to them, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. So what you need is the word of the Lord to prophesy, to speak, to create. Lord, this is how my life should be. You create with the word of God in your life. Things that are not the way you want them to be. You create them. There's a way you have to arrange things in your life. Things will not go the way you want when you don't arrange them. If I give you a piece of puzzle, if I give you a box of puzzles, just give it to you now, scattered as it is. The only way the puzzle can come together is when you sit down, you use your hands, you use your eyes, you use your brains to think, you use your, 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 your ideas, your creativity to sit down and see where does this fit in. That is creativity. That is you putting things together, creating. Why? Because God has given us the ability to create. God has given us the power to do it because said we are created in his own image. And he said, I've say, I have said ye are God. Glory to God. And remember to create is to bring something into existence. So what do you want to bring into existence in your life? Is it a job that you want to bring to existence in your life? Is it a business? Whatever that you want to bring into existence in your life, you can do it with the word of the Lord. You can put it together. That puzzle that is scattered in your life, that you don't see it coming together with the word of the Lord, you can put it together it can come together you can create something out of it you can bring in something out of it god is says called us god, we are creators he said we are born in his own image in the beginning he said he spoke he created the heavens and the earth and that ability that same spirit that was hovering upon the earth it is the same spirit that is at work in you today that dwells in you that is if you are born again you are filled with the holy spirit so you can create Glory to God, you can create and bring things to manifestation. Gone are the days whereby as Christians we live a life of admiring, a life of saying, only if, if only I can. You have your mouth. The, the, word, the, the word is in your mouth. It is in your heart. Is it difficult to open your mouth? Yes, for others it's difficult. Why? Because they are oppressed by the devil. They are oppressed by the evil. The darkness doesn't want them to see light. The darkness doesn't want to open their mouth to speak. Have you ever been in a situation whereby you, you just feel like you're not in the mood to talk? You're not in the mood. No, don't allow that. That is the oppression. The devil knows the power of your words. And I think I shared this during the an inspiration for you uh, for during the week that your tongue, the words that you say with your mouth are very important. And we said that we're talking about the power of the tongue. That death and in the book of Proverbs says that death and life are in the power of the tongue. This tongue, as you are looking at it, as small as it is, it can take you to wherever you want to go to. And it can even take you to where 
where you don't even want to go to with this tongue your mouth with the words that you speak with the words that you say the more you say you know what me i'm so so damn broke the more you become more 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 more, more broke why because you are saying so yes you may say but i don't have money what you say i must lie that i don't i have money when i don't have no that's not what i'm saying i'm talking about speaking the faith creating what you want to see with your mouth what you want to see concerning the vision what you want to see concerning your love your purpose that which god has called you for you might not be there today but you can create it with your mouth what kind of a love do you want how do you want your love to be what kind of a woman do you want to be how do you want to be known how do you want to be seen you have to create it in your secret place where you are in your room alone receiving the word of god feeding yourself with the word of god you create what you want to see because god is a creator he created he we, we are born in his own image and he said i said i have said ye are gods do you know that you are god or you are saying whoa you want to call me a god if i'm not a blasphemer god is the one who called you he said ye are gods so as a god what do you do you create like your heavenly father who created so you are going to create it you will create that money. You will create that bank account. You will create that life. You will create that calling. You will create whatever that you want to do as long as it is according to the word of God. Glory to God. So I prophesied as I was commanded and I was prophesying there was a noise as a, I mean a rattling sound and the bones came together bone to gain to bone. I looked and returned and flesh appeared on them and skins covered them but there was no breath in them now it says as he was prophesying there was a noise bone to bone there was a rattling noise a rattling sound do you know you don't have to see it you may not see it as you are opening your mouth every day as you are saying something there's a there's, there's some noise somewhere there's something that is happening some way as you create it's just a matter of time before you see it wait we will get to the other scriptures do you know you know i can actually testify of this i saw it i remember you know uh, I, uh when i when god blessed me with my daughter and there's things that we wanted to i remember with my mother the things that we wanted to experiment and, and as you hear pastor a church will be talking prophesying saying this is what you do to your children this is what you do and i was like ha ah, now that i have this creature that god has blessed me i want to experiment i want to see these things work i want to see that they yes this is it there are so many things that we began to do on my daughter her name is pinel now we began to do say on her speak and i started seeing them happening coming to manifestation i'm like ah it works some of some of the things for example you know when it comes to body shaping you know i know you may think this is crazy but i tell you you can create anything that you can do anything with the word of god as long as he has given you a go ahead to do it i remember you know i used to when i was growing up like every time because I'm, I'm, I'm a giant woman hello i'm tall i'm giant i'm really up there like so when i'm standing like i know i'm tall and i i i learned to be uh, uh, to appreciate myself i learned to appreciate what i have and to be happy with who i am because this is how god created me and i embrace the beauty that i have but there was a time whereby i had low self-esteem when i'm looking at myself i'm like ah i don't like my back i don't like the way i am my stomach is like this my waist is like this and every time i'm like i don't like the way i am but then when i began to to discover the beautiful creature that is in me how god has created me i embrace my beauty oh my word i begin to see myself differently and every time i'm looking at myself i look at myself i'm like wow you are a beautiful woman you are a global woman you i will speak words and this is one thing that we began to say to to my daughter every time i'm like ha ah, i want my daughter to have this particular structure i want my daughter to be like this and i'll be saying all those things speaking 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 and then before i knew it she was shaping she was becoming she was forming and i'm like ha ah. and at some i was like mama look these things are working i'm just giving you an example because those are the this is how crazy you can i mean i mean positively crazy you can go with the word of god i'm not talking about crazy as in mad 
that like like as in this is how far you can go with the things of god you can create things the way you want them to be concerning your children your life what do you want to see in the life of your children how intelligent do you want them to be what kind of a life should they have how should they be all those things you can create them why because god has given us the ability to do so so here is Ezekiel prophesying to the dry bones and now there was a sound. So once you say words with your mouth, they, they form, they bring things to existence. They make some sounds. As you are calling for things, whether locally, globally, internationally, wherever you are, they happen. They happen. So don't limit yourself. Don't limit the words that you say with your mouth. That is why you have to be careful when you are creating. You have to be careful what you are creating. Because you don't want to create what you don't want. Because tomorrow you wake up, you're like, ah, but I didn't want this. Oh, now I have it. You said it with your mouth. God gave you, a, 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 I mean, the ability. God gave you the power to create. He said, ye are gods. He said, you are born in my own image. You are like me. You can create. So now he's giving Ezekiel an opportunity to speak to the dry bones. God is giving you an opportunity to create. God is giving you an opportunity to speak to that dry bones to those dry bones in your life now while you are looking at me while you are watching me while you are listening to this message whatever time you're going to listen to it some i know they listen to these messages later anytime as you are listening to it at this particular time while you're listening to me god is giving you a platform god is giving you an opportunity to create and he doesn't want you to do it once he doesn't want you to do it twice he wants you to be a creator he wants you to be a creator. You can create your life every day, purify. You can build block to block, block to block of greatness, of beauty. Why? Because he has made you a creator. Glory to God. So you can create it. That thing, you can create it. Glory to God. And then he says, And the bones came together, bone to bone, bone to bone. I looked and tenders and flesh appeared to them, and skin covered them, but there was no bread in them. Yes, you can create things to a certain extent, but you still need to do more. You don't speak once and say, God, I'm, I've prophesied for the job. I create the job. Then you keep quiet. No, you have to keep saying it. You have to keep talking. You have to keep declaring. You need to keep prophesying, saying it. That is what Ezekiel did. And then he said to him, prophesy to the bread, prophesy son of man, and say to, to it, this is what the sovereign Lord says, come bread from the four winds and breathe into this clay is slain that they may live. So I prophesied as I was commanded as he commanded me and breath entered them by they came to life and stood up on their feet a vast army a great army glory to God so they kept on I mean Ezekiel prophesied and he even spoke bread to uh, I mean, um, prophesied bread to the bones he would have said God is enough I've seen I've seen it all now it's enough but he had to continue what does that tell you? You don't say it once. You must be consistent in your creating positively. You don't speak today positive. Tomorrow you are negative. Today you are saying, oh God, I'm strong. Tomorrow you say, oh Lord, I'm weak. Do you understand? Like you create how you want things to be. As long as God has given you a go ahead. What licenses you is the word of God. Glory to God. So you don't go and start creating things that God didn't ask you to create. Because you will create things that God didn't ask you to create and they come back to you. And you're like, God, but you said no. According to the word of God. What is God saying? What does God want you to be? Remember he said, I've made you, I, I made you witnesses. He says, go you into the world. He gave us access to go into the world. I have given you access to go into the world to preach the gospel. I have given you access to have all the, to go to the nations. So where you are limited, create an opportunity. Where you are limited, create the open doors for yourself. Why? Because God has given you the ability 
to create. Then he said to son of man, these bones are the people of the Israel. They say our bones are dried up and our hope is gone. We are cut off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, this is what the sovereign Lord says, my people, I'm going to open your graves and bring you up from them. I will bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you, my people, will know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and bring you up from the earth. Glory to God. So there's no situation that is too big. You see here, he's talking about the graves. People that long died. What is that situation that you think there's no hope for you? That situation that you think it is long dead. You cannot have anything today. You are too old. You can't have what you want. What is it? He's saying that even in those graves, speak to them. And he spoke to them. They were a great army. And they came back to life from that those graves so that means we can actually create everything even that situation that they say this one is long dead ratty gone you cannot do anything about it when you show up god shows up when you show up creativity shows up when you show up you say yes i'm here to create it why because god has given me the ability to do so glory to god so i would like us to take a few more scriptures before we round up so that you understand so that was Ezekiel. He would have argued with God because you know there are people who really argue with God who are stubborn. Huh? People who are stubborn who argue with God. They feel like, ah, we know God, ah, ah, you can't tell me what to do. But Ezekiel listened to the voice of God. He listened to the instruction. He followed the instruction. And what happened? The dry bones became a great army. He created with his mouth. Glory to God. Death and love, Proverbs 18 to 1. Death and love are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will eat its fruit. So death and love are in the power of the tongue. And I actually shared this during the an inspiration for you. So your tongue can bring things to life, can kill, can destroy, can build your mouth. How are you going to create? Create good things with your, I mean, in your life. Create good things, the surroundings, things that you want to see. Glory to God. So this time, God is saying to us, it is time for you to go bigger. It is time for you to expand. It's time for you to create greatness. It's time for you to create bigger things. Create bigger pictures. What do you want to see? You know, I, I always say this to myself. Like every time I say, Rati, you are a global person. Rati, you are a global woman. I keep creating it. I keep saying it. I keep seeing it. Why? Because I know no word that God says concerning my love will come down void. No ways. Glory to God. And I know step by step as I grow, I become that which God wants me to be. And he said, remember he said, I knew you, he said to Jeremiah, I knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. I set you apart for nations. I set you apart for nations. So when you are set apart for nations, what are you creating for yourself? If you're saying you're set apart for nations, are you just going to set, I mean, stoop for uh, stoop so low i going to settle for less stoop for uh, settle for that small thing in that small location no god wants you to grow big god wants you to grow big but you start from where you are where you are is a seed for you to grow bigger so when god gives you platforms when god gives you opportunities when god gives you anything to do you do it and create yourself from it he gives you a seed then gives you the ability to plant the seed, to water the seed, to cultivate the seed, and grow from it. Glory to God. So we have the ability to create. We have the power inside of us. We can be anything through our words. We can create with our mouths. Glory to God. So you have to make sure that you change the way you talk. You change the way you do things. The way you change, you, you change the way you reason. You change the way you see yourself. You can't look at yourself like a small person. You can't look at yourself like a grasshopper. Because look at what Joshua and Caleb did. And they looked at themselves as, like, I mean, they said, you know what? When other spies said, listen, we saw ourselves as grasshoppers. They became like grasshoppers. They saw themselves and saw the way. But Joshua and Caleb said, no ways. We are going for those people at once. We are going at once. Glory to God. So when you look at yourself, are you looking at yourself like a small person? Or you are looking into the world and like, you know what? I'm going at once. I am creating big. And yes, I am going big. 
glory to God, God God has given us the ability. So I want us to look at Ecclesiastes um, as we round up. Ecclesiastes 11. There were other scriptures, but I'm not going to take them because of time. Verse 3. Listen to this. God says, um, if the clouds are full of rain, let me look at the, this is what, which vision is this one? Okay, let me look at the New King James Vision. Ecclesiastes 11.3, right? If the clouds are full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. And if a tree falls to the south of the north, in the place where the tree falls, there it shall lie. If the clouds are full of rain, they empty themselves. So the clouds that are full of rain in your life, as you utter words, you are forming the clouds. And there's those clouds, there's a time that they fall down in as a rain of blessings concerning your life so build your clouds with your words with your with with, with the with the word of god how are you creating for yourself for your family for your life for your business what do you say what type of words do you form together what type of clouds are you forming for your life you form them when they are full they empty themselves it will be seen like the Bible says that the, the, the fruits will be, I mean, the, the, every tree will be recognized by its fruits. How we speak, if you are speaking fruitfulness in your life, it will be seen in your face. But if you are ever speaking stress everything, it will also be seen in your face. But what are you going to create for yourself? Fruitfulness, you become fruitful. When you start speaking of dryness in your life, start speaking of this, all those things will come to manifestation. Then tomorrow you now go and say you are bewitched. No, you are not bewitched. You bewitched yourself. Why? Because the words that you have been speaking with your mouth are the ones that are either shrinking you or building you up, making you blossom. So you have to create what you want to see with your mouth. And when the clouds are full of rain, they empty themselves. Don't be, don't create and be impatient and say, I stay taking long no this thing is taking long i've been talking i've been talking you have to keep saying it you have to glory to god you have to and remember god also has to test our patience and x1 says ye shall receive power after that the holy ghost has come upon you and he shall be witnesses he said ye shall receive power that power is what we have now he has given us the ability to create he has given us the power to go out and produce results in our lives that is why we have the precious holy spirit that is why we have the presence of god he came and dwelt in us he dwelt inside of us as the, as the holy spirit in the form of the holy spirit meaning that with the holy spirit at work in us we can be whatever that we want in our lives Glory to God. So you have the ability to create. You can also read Luke chapter 10, 19. I'm not going to take that one. Luke 10 verse 19 and Ecclesiastes uh, 11, 4. I think it's actually, we have read it. We have taken it already. Glory to God. So the Holy Spirit is ministering to us in a very special way today. We have been encouraged. We have been receiving the word of God. But there's something that we need to do right. We need to create with our mouths. Create the love that you want to see. Go to your private, uh, uh, I mean, to your secret place. Have time to talk. We, uh, let me tell you something. One thing that I know, I know, I know, I know. We are very much alive in responding to the word. Yes, I receive. I am strong. This, this, this. But the moment we get to our closest, the, in, in our closest, the moment we get to our, our, our places, now you become so lazy to do what you need to do. Imagine like a farmer who just has got the field. You just go there. You ever, you go out. Instead of you going to plant, to plant seeds, you are ever going there and you're just looking at the, 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 the land. Every time you're looking at the land, you go out, you look at the land, you have seeds, you have everything with you, but you just go and look at the land. You're not doing anything in the land, you're not talking, you're not planting, you're not doing anything, you just go and look at the land and you expect anything to come out of it. There's nothing that is going to come out of that land as long as you don't 
dig into that ground, put the seed on the ground, water the, the ground, I mean the ground, and talk. That is some applause with our lives. As long as we keep looking at other people, as long as we keep looking at others growing, doing things, if you don't talk, you don't do anything, nothing will ever grow in your life. We have the ability to create. So we are going to create. Glory to God. So that is the message for today. This week, we're going to spend some time creating. Not only this week, not only this month, but throughout. We're going to move to the next level. Glory to God. We are going to move to the other level. To another level of growth when it comes to creating. To another of level of growth when it comes to being creative in our lives. We want greater things, right? So what are we going to do? We need to step, take a step ahead and create. Glory to God. So we are going to create our lives. Purify our lives with the word of God. You are blessed. You are anointed. You are you, you are awesome. You are successful. You are intelligent. You will build words in your life. You will speak words of power in your life by creating. Glory to God. So if you're one of those people who are ever speaking negative, you need to change. Glory to God. If you're one of those people who are ever saying, seeing impossibilities in your life, it's time to recreate things around you. Glory to God. Create your atmosphere. What kind of atmosphere do you want around you? Create it. Our God is the creator. He created the monarch, he's the monarch of the universe. He created the heavens and the earth. And he is giving us the ability. He gave us already the ability and platforms to create. So are we going to keep quiet? No. We are going to create. Glory to God. So create it. What do you want? Create it. Hallelujah. Create it. So if you are watching me right now and you are not born again, you say, you know what, Rati, I'm not born again. You are, no, you are going to be the first creator by creating your salvation, by speaking the words of power. You're going to say this prayer after me a minute with all your heart. The moment you utter this word, you create your salvation. Because it says, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God rests him from the dead, says, you will be saved. What do you need? You need to confess with your mouth. Your words are very powerful. The words that we speak are very powerful. We have to be conscious of the words that we say. Glory to God. So I would like you to say this prayer after me. If you're watching me and you're not born again, you say you want to receive Jesus as your personal savior. I want you to give your love to Christ now and say, oh Lord God, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Right now, I ask Jesus to come into my heart to be the Lord of my life. I receive eternal life into my spirit right now. I declare that I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm a new creation in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Father, for saving me. I am born again in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow, congratulations. If you've said this prayer right now, you are born again. You are welcome into the kingdom of God. Send us an inbox. Talk to us. We will guide you, help you, send you some articles to read, show you, help you on your journey as a new born again child of God. Now you are part of us into the kingdom of God. Glory to God. So that is it, Royal. We are creators. We create glory to God. So what do we do? We are going to create with our mouths. We are going to speak words of power with our mouths. The words are very powerful. Glory to God. Those that are around us, create, create, create. So if you wake up and you have a desire for something, as long as it is according to the word of God, and you're like, oh God, this, remember, create it. The Holy Spirit will remind you, create it. You want it, create it. Isn't that wonderful that we are given a platform to, to express the, 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 the uniqueness of God through us? So you sit down, you are thinking, God, I need this certain thing in my life. And then he said, I've given you the ability to bring it to existence. So what am I going to do? There's a role to play. You are going to create it. You speak words of power. You open your mouth, create it, arrange it put it in place like that puzzle, then you go out and do something about it. Glory to God. So create it. Remember, create it. When somebody tries, comes to you and say, you know what, my friend, this is what, go and tell them, create it. 
glory to God. Say, create it, my friend. You have the ability inside of you. Create it. Hallelujah. Okay, so let us just thank God. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus for the word that we have received this afternoon, this morning, and this evening. Lord, we thank you for giving us the platform, for giving us the ability to create. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for you have given us the power, the power to build, the power to bring things to existence into our lives because you have given us the ability. Lord, we receive patience, patience, yes, as we create in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the in-depth of your word. We thank you, Father, that we are energized, we are strengthened right now. Yes, we are encouraged. We now know that we have to create with our mouth. And the words that we speak, they are powerful. And we can go anywhere with the tongue. We can do anything with that which you have given us. Lord, we thank you because of your word that you have given us, oh God, we will create the life that you have prepared prepared for us. Lord, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. That is it for today, Royals. I hope you learned so much on created. That is the message that God put in our spirit and I hope we learned so much. I'm looking forward to listening to the message again because I honestly, personally, as I was sharing, I said, God, ah, I need to create some things. Like it's time to really create greater things, bigger things. Because you know, as a royal person, God wants to elevate us. God wants to grow us, to upgrade us every day. We can't be on the same level over and over again. Uh -uh. It's time for you to grow, to expand, to create greater things in your life. Glory to God. So that is all for today, Royals. I hope you were blessed. Please come and go to our YouTube channel for all the messages at Fountain Insights TV and listen to all our messages. So I'm already looking forward to the next Sunday to hear what the Spirit of God has for us. Because, you know, we learn, oh my word, I love the precious Holy Spirit because we grow. As we listen to the word, we grow, we become, we we glow, we shine. Glory to God. The word of God perfects us. The word of God beautifies us. The word of God builds us. And the more you listen to the word of God, the more we become. Glory to God. So like I always say, you know it. Stay blessed. Stay connected. Stay in the word of God. Don't move an inch from the presence of God. Go and take charge this week. Go and win. Enjoy your new week. Go and create things. Put things in place. Be a royal person that you are you know who is smart who is wise and alert in the spirit at all times once again stay blessed stay connected stay in the word of god don't move an inch from the presence of god glory to god god bless you so dearly royals i love you all i love you with all my heart god bless you once again see you next sunday